Hello, I'm Migalo. In this video, I'm going to answer a common question we get asked here at Forgeway. How do I know if my substrate is bondable? This video will help you find out. A lot of the time, companies ask this question when they are trying to find the right adhesive for their application. The first step in choosing a new adhesive is understanding the substrate you are bonding. This is the first step because if you don't know what you are bonding, you will struggle to find a suitable adhesive. If you don't understand the substrate, you don't know if it's going to cause bonding problems. But how do you go about understanding the substrate? There are a few different methods you can use to assess the suitability. The first method is to do a simple check. If your substrate is plastic and you know the type of plastic it is, you can use this chart to assess whether it will be difficult to bond or not. Typical plastics you will struggle to bond include polypropylene, polyethylene or teflon. When it comes to metals, it is slightly more complicated as the grades can vary significantly between each metal type. However, if the metal has had a form of surface treatment, you will want to double check with the adhesive manufacturer that the adhesive will bond to the surface. The most difficult metals to bond are usually galvanised steels. The simple check method is ambiguous because no two substrates are the same. For example, galvanised steel from one supplier might be more difficult to bond than a different galvanised steel. The most thorough way to check a substrate's bondability is to test the exact surface of your substrate. Advancements in technology mean you can use machines which will tell you whether the surface is difficult to bond or not. A surface testing machine will even scan the surface up to 2 microns deep, which is the typical depth of a bond interface. This means that the machine will provide an exact and accurate measurement of how suitable that surface is for adhesion. You can use that measurement to place the substrate in a bonding risk matrix. The matrix will rate the bond in terms of probability and severity of failure. So if you are interested in the surface testing machine, there are a few expectations we should set first. If you are a small company or aren't going to place an order with us, you will be better off using the first method of checking the substrates, as surface testing can cost you a high one-off fee. As a rough figure, it will cost you between £500 to £1,000. For more help on this topic, we suggest reading the article on bonding plastics, as it will give you a better idea on how to bond difficult surfaces, not just plastics. However, if you are a larger company that is looking to order from us, we would offer surface testing as part of our technical service package. Not only would we help you understand the difficulty of the bond, we will also provide a bonding risk matrix that will give each bond a rating. Now that you know how to test the surface, what should you do next? It's entirely your decision. If you want to quickly find an answer, head over to our Knowledge Centre. There are hundreds of articles and resources to give you answers to your bonding questions. In fact, we get asked this question so much, we dedicated a chapter on this topic. Chapter five of the Fundamentals of Adhesives eBook will give you an overview of this topic. But if you want an answer for your specific substrate and application, reach out and an adhesive expert will be able to help. Here at Forgeway, we have over 25 years experience of bonding in the field. We have a very good idea of which substrates will be difficult to bond. However, if we don't know the answer, we would recommend surface testing, as it will give you an exact answer for your substrate. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and helping you with any bonding challenges.